God knows everything, right? Second, God doesn't have any other God, right? And third, God doesn't need to worship someone, right? So if you go to the Jesus, did Jesus know everything? Really? So when Jesus was asked about the hour, Jesus clearly said he didn't know the hour. No, he didn't. He said it's not for you. No, he said, he said, he said nobody knows the hour. Nobody knows the hour. Not the angel, not the sun, not only the sun. He did. He's in Mark chapter 13, verse 32. Nobody knows the hour, not the angel in heaven, not the sun, except the Father in heaven. Okay? No, but that's your assumption. Wait, wait, brother, wait. That's your assumption. What do you need to do is you. You don't need to. Do you sin or do you not sin? Do you have a saviour and do you have someone that can uh, deal with the payments for your sins and your wrongs? What is the first commandment? What is the payment in, Muslim, in Islam? What is the payment for your wrongs? Wait a minute. What is the what is the first commandment? To love God with all your heart, no. mind, here, soul and body. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. So the oneness is emphasized every time when Jesus was asked, what is the most important commandment? Okay, again, we're getting away from the point, because the whole point is redemption. The whole point you worship. No, our point was, so that sorry, you go it, it is, it, it's By the way, point, that was a good question you asked. So the point is, he, he doesn't. He wants a monologue. Yeah. So, so, do so you say yeah. We are discussing not. not yeah. We are discussing not preaching. We are discussing. Do say listen, brother. Let's come now. You are the come. servant of sin. Okay. Therefore, you worship Satan or Hasatan, whatever you wish to call him, not God. Yeah. What's your name, my friend? If you sin, what's your name? You are of the devil. What's, what's your name? Of what's your name? Satan. It, it, my, what no, name. but uh, I just want you to understand. We, we we have a conversation rather than a monologue. Is that okay? Let's have a dialogue, There's shall no we? There's conversation to be had if you still sin. The okay. fact of the matter is, you use clever little questions to move... By, by the way, why did you ask you what payment? Why, why did you ask what payment? You don't win arguments. You ask the intellectual question. Okay, so here's the intellectual the question for you. Point, That's fine. Which is if you he sin, won't let me ask a question. Even. <laughs> so, 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 you, so you said, look, so okay. you said Jesus know everything. Brother, brother one second, okay. yes? You, you said to ask an intellectual question. Can I ask you an intellectual question? You're not giving me a question. See, you want, an I'm to trying to, but you're not getting a first word in. My first question, okay, what is your first question? Was, how are your sins paid for in Islam? Okay. Where is your savior? Can I can I answer without you? you okay. Can I answer? Can I answer without you interrupting? That's my question. Good. Please answer. Good. Give me some time to respond without you interrupting. Can you do that? Yeah. Good. Yeah, okay, cool. That's a good question, actually. I like the way you ask, what is the payment? You know the difference between forgiveness and payment? There is no difference. There is a difference. There's no difference. Shall I show you the difference? Forgiveness is the result of the payment. No, it's not. For example, if your friend here borrows 100 pounds from you, and you say, I forgive you, what do you think he understood by that? Does he require to pay you that debt he owes you? Or will he actually say, yes, because you've forgiven me, I owe you nothing. Now that is forgiveness, my friend. You know what is payment? Payment would be, okay, Jack, if you can't pay me 100 pounds, give me your watch. Wait, 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 I said not to interrupt. Remember I said not to interrupt? I said not to interrupt when I'm talking. Yes, try to have interrupt. I know you've already made up your mind, but at least hear me out. Keep this open. You see, he's already made yeah, up his yeah. mind. You no, can't continue, have it continue with your okay. Yeah. Now, now, if if he if he if he took if you took payment in kind, which means give me your watch in, instead of the hundred pounds, and I will be okay with that. Of course, it's my wisdom, not yours. That's why I said there's a difference between payment and forgiveness. Okay. Now I've answered your question. Now you answer mine. Here's the thing: Can you, as a Christian, be forgiven without the human sacrifice? of Jesus Christ? No. Good. So your religion or your faith demands a human sacrifice of a completely innocent man. Now tell me how is that just? He died for himself. No, he was killed. He didn't die by himself. That would be suicide if he committed, if he died by himself. 
Huh? Do you still sin? Do I still sin? Yeah. Do you still sin? No, I can't. Oh, you don't you sin don't at sin? all? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. You don't sin at all? No, no, we can't <laughs> sin. Born, so, so you're saying as a freeborn Christian, you guys have never sinned? We have sinned in the past. Have well, you never sinned at all since you became a reborn Christian? Point of belief. Those that are born of God cannot... Who believes these guys that they have never sinned? Yeah. Of course, seed remaineth in them and they cannot sin because okay. they are You know are what? I will let God. God be the judge of that. But you in your own consciousness, okay? In your own conscience, you know what it is. Okay, so if your conscience is so clean, why didn't you answer my question? How can it be just for an innocent man to be killed for your sins because that God, was his purpose everything. God can do everything that why can't he forgive you then why does he need to die that was his purpose because there has to be he said everything why can't he forgive you to, to me a just blood. God and a loving God and a merciful God instead of killing his own son not himself remember the father is distinct from the son instead of planning the murder and torture and humiliation and finally murdering him it would have been better if he knew how to forgive because like the god of islam believe that he was god. Yeah, you why are you doing this you don't believe why why god always says in the bible that he can forgive we have forgiveness without blood we have forgiveness without blood unlike you guys why? For you, the only way you can be forgiven is shedding blood of an innocent. The most unjust, no, unjust once, thing. Once, for all. Once, once and for injustice all. is still not, injustice. Not once injustice is once. still injustice. So, 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 once what? Once. Human sacrifice. Once. Am I right? It was a human sacrifice. He did it willingly. Still a human sacrifice? Okay, who died on the cross? How can it be a human sacrifice when he did it willingly? Why he gave himself. Actually, he was begging his God to take the cup away from him. Yes. That wasn't willing. Not your will, Lord, not mine. Your will, not mine. And what was the bit before that? That he one you forgot? obedient to God because God had commanded him. Why are you getting emotional? Calm down. You got triggered all yeah. of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah, where's the love? Where's the love, Jesus Priest? Don't bring that. Why not? Because you smart when little, little snaky little things that ah, you do. Ah, ad hominems now. Ad hominems. Calling. Righteous. You see, they said they never sinned. Remember, he said he never sinned. And, and, no, never and now he's calling us snakes. <laughs> calling us snakes now. He's been exposed by his own self. This is... <laughs> Like little we snakes, that's what he just said. So, by the way, we didn't, okay, get, the, we, we didn't get the answer for the hour we asked. Can you, can you answer this? So, yeah. Did Jesus know everything? Sorry? Did Jesus know everything? Yeah, why was he ignorant of the hour? Yeah, yeah we are in the first position. Yeah. He didn't yeah. know the time. Yeah, he didn't know the time. Yeah, why did he not know the time? You had your turn, you're a bad man. You're not a good man. Okay. No, no, a God is all-knowing, right? A God by default is all-knowing. Why did he not know the hour? Whoever commits sin is of the devil. Whoever commits sin is the servant of sin. Those that are born of God I quoted the Bible to Mark 13, 32. Nobody knows the hour. Not the angels in heaven, not the Son, except the Father. Is, is Jesus the Father? Do you believe it? Jesus is the Father in the Yeah, I believe only God knows the hour. I agree with Jesus. Okay, do you believe it though? Okay, so you ac you acknowledge now that Jesus was also, ignorant of the last hour. Also, Jesus can you can you check it? If you, can you check it? Oh, oh yes, thank you. That's yeah. Lovely. Let me show you that. No, no. Sh read yeah, that yeah, first. Read the, uh, hey, okay. it's my turn now. <laughs> uh, how how okay. do I? Uh, John eight twenty four. Where is it? So, oh, okay. so Mark 13, 32, nobody knows the hour, nobody knows the hour. you need to answer that, I think you're going to change the topic. Answer, yeah. you, can, you can put the, another question to us. Are you going to change the topic? You can't serve God and sin. In John 8, 34, so Jesus simple. answered them, there's no reason I see it unto you, whosoever commits sin is the son of God. That's got nothing to do with the, the knowledge yeah, of the hour. Yeah. Because he said that he still sees the son Okay, so are you denying this verse where Jesus said he didn't know the hour? Keep it to the point. No, what's the answer for that? You're the servant what's the answer for that? What you quoted has got nothing to do with the knowledge of the hour. Yeah. So we ask yeah, about the hour. No, it's not past. You haven't answered it. Believe what? Do you believe it, but? Okay, so you believe that Jesus was ignorant of the hour? 
Do you believe that? Do you agree? You see, you don't answer that question because well, you don't believe do, it. Why do, why do you want to? Okay, shall I tell you why I'm asking this? Okay. Because the thing is, if Jesus was fully God, if Jesus was God, and he didn't speak like a Pharisee like this guy here, then Jesus would say that he is God Almighty, which he never did. Jesus died. Can God die? Yes? Jesus didn't know the hour. Can God be ignorant? No. Oh, now they have to run away. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 brother, listen. So every we, we, way Jesus is disqualified as God. Yeah, we both agree. In his knowledge, in his, in, uh, in his, in his mortality, yes. in the fact that he, he was born of a woman. Yes. Yes? Can so, God be born of a woman? So we both agree God doesn't and have any other God. So Did Jesus has God? Basically. Wait, wait, brother. Let him answer one yeah. question. Jesus is not God. Yes. Jesus never claimed to be God. In fact, he said Most the only true people. God is the Father. Okay, what do you mean by image? Do you think God looks like a human being? What do you mean by image? Does God have image? Brother, you, you really need to have patience. I know you, you love this topic, but the thing is, look, what is image? Have you seen your image in the mirror? What does it look like? You, right? Wait, wait, you asked me a question, now I've answered you. Can you please acknowledge that? When you say Jesus is the image of God, what do you understand by it? Do you think he looks like, do you think the father looks like a human being? Do you not think that? No, do you, do you honestly think the father looks like a human being? Yeah. Oh dear. Things. Where do those Christians come from, born again? Yes? He thinks the father looks like a human being. The father says, sorry, in the Bible it says God is spirit. You cannot find other Christians like us that we can't see. Say again? You cannot find other Christians that you cannot see. You cannot what? You cannot find other Christians that you can't see. Because all Christians sin. What do you, you think you guys, we just because you sin. claim you don't sin, okay? Not, then you're lying. God, because because Paul in the Bible says everyone sins. You deny okay? We That's what the Bible says. That yeah, believe in a human sacrifice. That's Go on. That's what pagans used to do. Pagans used to sacrifice humans to their God. The only difference is, in your case, is one man. In that case, is multiple men. That's the only difference. In both cases, they wanted to please the God. Okay? I answered it. I didn't avoid it. Say again? Who do you serve if you still sin? Who do you serve? Okay. First and foremost, whom did Jesus pay the ransom to? The devil? Because the devil had hold on, on death. Whom did he pay the ransom to? God. So who do you think that you serve? I thought he was God. <laughs> so whom did he pay the ransom to? Himself. No answer. Himself. You cannot. That's the most absurd thing. Anyone knows the meaning of ransom, it cannot be paid to yourself. Because somebody has to demand ransom for them to be paid. Okay? So, you know what the early Christians used to think? I don't know if you know this. The early Christians, you know, like St. Augustine even, one of some of the greatest church fathers, they used to think that the ransom was paid to the Satan. Because the Satan had hold on death. Yes? So they believe, they used to believe, the Christians, the early Christians used to believe that the ransom was paid to the Satan. There you go. And you know, by the way, in your Bible, in your Bible, why is Jesus called a curse? Why is your God called a curse? Come on, you're the smart one. Answer. Oh, you haven't read the Bible? Oh, the sinless guys haven't read the Bible. was made a curse. What's the difference? So the tomatoes, same. tomatoes, what's the difference? Yeah, right. Made a curse and a curse. Who was made a curse? He was made who curse. was made a curse? He became sin. Okay, who became a sin? He became who sin became a sin? And killed it. Who? Christ. No you see, you can't even answer. No okay, so Jesus became a curse. Perfect. Can you believe your God became a curse? You know in the, in the Quran who became a curse? The shaitan. We, when we read the Quran, we say, Audhu billahi min shaitani rajim. Yes? Still the same person. So can you can't separate the body from the person. Because he was born of a virgin. Doesn't matter, it's still God's, the same person. Doesn't matter how you spin it, like a Pharisee, it's still the same man. Yes, like a Pharisee, you lie like the Satan. Because when I asked you the question, who was cursed, he did not have the guts to answer it. He lost his backbone when I asked him this question. What's that? No, no, but your God was cursed. Irrelevant. Irrelevant? A God being cursed is irrelevant. You know who was cursed in the Quran? The Shaitan. Who was cursed in the Bible? My prophet, my messenger, whom I love, Jesus Christ. According to your Bible, he was cursed. To me, that is an insult to my prophet. 
the one I love. And this guy says it's irrelevant, it means it doesn't matter. Look at him preaching to the camera now. Because when he lost the argument, that's what he do. No, 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 I don't need to look, the camera always looks. Don't worry. Okay, so you, you have to realize that your God was cursed. Only the Satan is cursed, not God. But your God was cursed in the Bible. How? No answer. No wonder you guys are close. Are you a Pharisee? Are you a Pharisee? Snakes and vipers. Are you a hypocrite? By the way, you need to uh, educate these guys. They think that God was cursed. So you yourself have to understand that not only your God was cursed. By the way, did you know that Jesus, if he was your God, how can he die? His flesh died. You just don't want to believe Jesus. Same person. What do you mean flesh died? Flesh is not another person. Flesh is not another person. The fact that your God died proves that he's not God. Because God, the Father, is always immortal, whereas the Son died by his own creation. The Word became so who died? Which person of the Trinity? Honestly, which person of the Trinity paid for your sins? First person, second person, or Trinity? God is one. Really? Which one? Ah, oh, wait, wait. How many? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. How many are there? One. It's your mind that. How do you? Okay, make it one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Make it one. God. So what is your A triangle's got three points, is it not? A triangle. How many triangles is it? It's one. Yeah. How many sides have we got? Three. Each side is a triangle. No. Okay, that means each person is not a god. Logic. One hole. One hole. Yeah, one what? Three sides. Okay. Makes a triangle. Is it not? Is Jesus God? Is it not? He has to be because he's one of the sides. Try to understand the logic. Is Jesus God? Is the Father God? Is the Son God? Is the Holy Spirit God? Yeah, they are all one what? Exactly. So if you use the triangle analogy like this guy is doing, he doesn't understand logic. So let me educate him on this. Each side of the triangle is not a triangle. Just like each person in the Bible, each person of the Trinity, according to you, has to be the God. There's no three. Jesus never said God is three. No prophet in the entire Bible ever said God is three persons. This is This is something that the dogma of the church in the 4th century think, came up with. Do you think your God made you clean? My God what? Made you clean. Made me clean? Yeah, yeah we, we actually take, make wudu five times a day. How many times do you wash your face in a day? How many times do you wash your face in the way? I wash my feet more times than you wash your face in a day. Okay? So anyway, talking about clean, talking about clean, why was your God cursed if he was clean? Yeah, you know Jesus when he prayed, he put his face on the floor. Why? Why did he put his face on the floor? Slavery. Oh yeah, Jesus was a slave. Yeah. Okay. So he was a slave now. He put his face on the floor. Why? To beg his God to take the cup away from him. What was the cup? The cup of crucifixion, which he didn't want to mention. What he did, he mentioned half the passage, and he says, let thy will be done, not mine. Of course, every prayer, every prayer is with the will of God. That's the reason Jesus, because he couldn't save himself, he has to beg his God on his face, on the floor. There you go. So the fact remains, the fact remains that Jesus had to beg his God to save him. You know what? At the end of that, his prayers were rejected because he never got saved. Bow to the devil Do you know that? He never got saved. So are you going to answer any of my questions? So far you have rejected them all. I mean, sorry, you evaded them all. Did Jesus' prayer come true of him being saved from the cross? Did Jesus' prayer... Yeah, is it? If Jesus... If Je guys, guys, just like a lock here. If, Je if Jesus prayed... If Jesus prayed to his God, why was his prayer rejected? He said, my God, my God, sorry, my Father, Father, take the cup away from me. That was a prayer. That prayer was never accepted. Yes? Can you imagine a God whose prayers got rejected? If Jesus' prayer got rejected, what chance do you have? None. All right, I think you guys have had enough now. You become into preaching mode from the very moment that stepped in. But at least you were listening but not That's answering any job. questions.
to tell you that if you sin, you're going to hell. Do you not understand that? Who are you to tell me to go to hell? You're not God. The book says so. You believe in human sacrifice. Why should I believe you? The pagans used to believe in human sacrifice. You believe in human sacrifice. Why should I believe pagans? I don't believe pagans. You know, Jesus, he never once said that he was God. Why? Why? You know what he said in John 17, 3? Let's see if you know your Bible. What did Jesus say in John 17, 3? You don't read your Bible. That's the reason. In John 17, 3, he says, this is eternal life. Now have respect for your Bible and listen. This is eternal life that they know you, the Father, the only true God. Sin, you don't know no answer again. You've See, never seen him, never because known he him. never. Whosoever commits sin has never seen him, never known him. You ever. commit sins? I don't. You are a liar. <laughs> You're a liar. You don't commit sin. Every every man is a sinner, and these are the words that is are, are in the Bible. If you don't commit sin, why is Jesus died for you? If you don't commit sin, I have sin. He said he said he didn't commit sin. We all sin. We all sinned in the past. No, no, not in the past. We've you still sin. sin. Don't lie. No, you I'm still hard. sin. No, I can love him. Who is that? Is it? Hundred people. Hello, guys. Is it? Hundred people. Just like a lot All right. So, guys, look. Go read your Bible because obviously you guys are ba you base your religion on emotion, not on scripture, not on scripture. If anyone says that they cannot be forgiven without the shedding of blood of an innocent, is an unjust person. But why do you not believe that your God can forgive you without the shedding of blood? Why? Is your God not loving? Is he not merciful? Why does he need blood? Was that? No, but, but in the Old Testament, God said that even the wicked of the wicked, if they ask God, they will be forgiven. And then what? Cleansed of what? So why can't you? Cleansed of what? I'm not talking to you. You don't answer any questions. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to understand the only way you can be forgiven as a Christian is by the shedding of the blood of a human being. Now that is not pagan, then you tell me what is pagan. Okay? Leave it. Oh, okay, okay. He's not engaging. Leave him. Leave him. I can't hear you. You need to speak up. You don't want to believe Jesus is God. And you, you, just, you just think that the Bible contradicts itself. Yes, it does. I know you. you know and I read the passages to you. You had no response to that. And you, and you I don't have space. You still think that you can see and be saved. Say again? You still think that you can be seen and be saved. The question is this. Why can't God be merciful as he is and forgive you your sins? Why does he need a payment in blood? That is a question you haven't answered. So can you please answer? In the Old Testament, they used to sacrifice animals. Not all the time. Yeah, all the time. No, not all the time. I can show you passages where there was no need to sacrifice an animal. For example, if somebody was poor, they cannot afford an animal. Okay? They, they cannot even afford two turtle doves. You know what was you know what was the response given to them? What was the solution? To give flour and put it on the altar. Flour, which is which doesn't have blood, okay, is in Leviticus. Leviticus. Uh, I just gave you a re response. You you did not even listen to it. But the falling down is not a sacrifice. It's not a main thing. What's that? It's the belief. If if they believe God or not. Okay, so sacrifice is not important. You need to believe what's God in God. Okay. So do you do you now acknowledge you don't need blood all the time to atone for sins? He has done it already, so you don't need it. He has done it for you, but you, you need to acknowledge it, but you don't. Do you, can you be forgiven without blood? No. There you go. So why is your God bloodthirsty? Why is your God bloodthirsty? Your God cannot be merciful because he says, I need blood to forgive. At least, you know, Allah tells us that he forgives every sin except shirk, except association with him. So... Allah is merciful and loving unlike the Christian God. You said the only way you can be forgiven is by blood. This is by the way in Hebrews 9.22. At the end of the day, do okay. you think that you, you, you need something to, to clean your sin? Or you think that no, my God doesn't need payment. He can forgive. Remember I explained to you the difference between payment and forgiveness? Payment that requires something in return, like in your case, blood. In the case of your God, your God cannot forgive except by the blood of an innocent. Okay? 
In Islam, we believe in forgiveness, which requires no payment at all. Do you see the difference between payment and forgiveness now? So you are just like Christian, No, I'm not. Christians require payment in blood. In Islam, we can repent and Allah is able to forgive us. Do you not see the difference? No, it's not the same. Payment and forgiveness is not the same. Unless you're not listening. Okay. What does what does what does, what does forgiveness mean? Yeah, yeah. You see, my God is able to forgive you multiple times. Your God demands blood. No, my God has already forgiven all sin. Can you forgive without blood? I asked you and you said no. So your God is seeking payment, payment by blood. In Islam, forgiveness by the mercy of Allah. Do you not see the difference between the two? One is unjust, payment of an innocent by his blood. The other is merciful by forgiveness, by the mercy and love of Allah. We are not like the Christian who sin. We can sin, we, can, we don't do that. Because we only repent once and we know that we are forgiven. No matter what we do, we cannot sin anymore. Oh, really? No, no, don't say you cannot sin now. You sin, but you don't want to admit it. Yes, sir, sir, sir. Can't sin. Because Christ no, no, you, there's a difference between you can't sin. Are you saying that you never sin at all after you became born again? Yes, I can't sin at all because no, no. he died on the cross. But have you sinned since you became a born again? Before, before I believed in Christ, yes, I did Okay, sin. after you believed in Christ, have you never sinned? Never, because I can't be taken away. That's what the Bible says. If you commit the sin, will you be forgiven? I cannot commit sin anymore because he So, for example, so for example, a Christian who is killing thousands of other Jewish people, right? Or the Hindu guard, or the atheist, some Christian, ten Christian, raped a Hindu guard or atheist guard. According to yourself, these ten Christian will go to the heaven, and this girl who doesn't believe in Jesus, he's going to, she's going to the hell. Well, that's very extreme. But yes, yes. If you with God, you can do all things. But God, uh, uh, so, ask us to so love all you. is allowed. So you to raping, you murdering, everything is allowed because you are believing in Jesus. David, David murdered people as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And God asked us to love people, not rape people. So, so but if you rape was people, David forgiven? Huh? Was David forgiven for the murder? He was forgiven. Yeah. Without the shedding of blood, was he forgiven? He was forgiven. <laughs> you don't really know? Shall I tell you what happened? Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Why you don't want me to educate you about your Bible? I don't need you to educate me about my Bible. Why not? Because you don't know. So how will you? Because you still sin. You are not of the Lord. You are you are of the devil. You still it, sin. But your Bible is not a sinner. I'm telling you the Bible. My Bible is not a sinner. Your Bible doesn't sin. If I quote the Bible to you, what problem have you got? Well. Because you deny Jesus, you deny Christ. Who said I deny? Said we love Jesus. We love Jesus. You don't think he is God. How do you love no, Jesus? Not God. Why? Okay, okay here, is how, here is how we love Jesus. We don't, we don't call him a curse like you guys. Yeah, but do you believe that he is God? <laughs> exactly. Your Bible called him a curse. curse. What more you want? Yeah, exactly. every time, every in the time Quran, he's blessed. In the Bible, he's cursed. You now you tell me which book is from the devil. Do you believe that Christ is God? Of course not. He died. Did he not? Yeah. Can God die? He was ignorant of the hour. He died, born of a woman. He said, I by myself can do nothing. John 5.30. Go read your Bible for a change and you guys will learn. He knows that. You limit what, what, is that? You limit what God can do. He actually become Christ and die for every sin. Yeah, but God cannot die. Do you not understand that? In 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 16, it says, God is immortal. Do you know what immortal means? Never ever dies. That's what, that's what Christ is. So Christ died on the cross or not? How many good did he not come back? Oh, you're talking about resurrection. Okay, even that doesn't apply to God. Neither death nor resurrection applies to God because God never dies. Since both of these apply to Jesus, that means he is not God. I rest my case. Okay, at the end of the day, if you don't want to sin, if you... You know why you're obsessed with sin? Because you really sin. Yes, you think you don't, but you do. Have you ever seen with your eyes, which you're not supposed to see? You are, you are still off the flesh. You are in summer in England. You Have you never seen with your eyes something you're not supposed to see? see you are still off the flesh. I'm, I'm asking. Also, oh, you do sin then? No, I can't see. Have you not seen something with your eyes which you're not supposed to see? Well, the thing is, Christ died on the cross already. <laughs> you would never answer. You know. What about you? Have you seen something with your eye which you're not supposed to see? Have you lusted with your eye in summer in England? In your mind, you still got Look at him. He's, you know why he looked left? Look. There is a sign, it's a, it's a body language. When you look like that, you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> you caused, you guys got caught on camera. Yeah. Do you mean okay? looking at someone's flesh? Yes. 
That is sin according to the Bible. To lust, it, you know what Jesus says? It's better to pluck your eyes out than to look at something lustfully. So go home and pluck your eyes out now according to Bible. You missed that. Oh, but you do believe in him. Believe in no, no, but you do believe in him. Yeah, I do. I'm perfect. But why do you look at lustful things then? Because I'm perfect. I can do what I want. Oh. <laughs> the arrogance. I'm free. So now he's yeah. saying I can sin. That is the devil yes, speaking. Exactly. Yeah. That is exactly what the Satan deluded them of. What, what, what? You know? Sin. Because now the Satan is telling them they can do everything because they have been saved. Am I right? Do all no, things. No, no, no. So earlier he said I never okay. sinned. Okay. Stuck if for you Allah. do anything, it will be forgiven. Look at him smiling now. He got caught out like a little, okay. so <laughs> like a little kid anything, lying, you know. If you do anything, last whole thing. Because there's no sin. Sin doesn't exist anymore because so, Christ died on the cross. What do you mean sin doesn't exist anymore? Are you mad? Are you mad? Have you looked you around? Mad? There's no so there's sin. You, you know, since try, so since the time of Jesus, sin has actually increased, not decreased. So how is the Satan defeated? Because you don't believe. The Satan hasn't been defeated. Believe. The Satan became more strong. Have you realized? Defeated. There is more pornography, more defeated. sexual, more, se what do you say, Ill you uh, immoral you sex today. There is all immorality all around you. you. Now you guys are thinking that sin has disappeared. Look at the that delusion. Okay, so, so you Just like the way he said, he I can lust okay. because I have okay. accepted you Jesus. Said, you said Jesus Stop died Allah. for the sin. Jesus died for your sin. And you are saying that you don't commit the sin. So what kind of sin? Jesus died for sin, and you are saying you don't commit the sin. So which sin for Jesus died? Yeah, but I don't need a human sacrifice to forgive him. Unlike you. Of course, I'm a human being. Unlike you, I acknowledge it. No, you're actually you. You look. You look lustful things with your eyes. Yes. Yes, you acknowledged it. You acknowledged it. Okay, do you? You said I can do anything. It's on camera. Now you're lying. Oh, that's the second sin he just did. You know, he died in front of camera. Pharisee. Pharisee. How old are you, man? How old are you? Why are you acting like a kid? Why are you acting like a kid? Grow up, man. Grow up. Act your age. What is it? Stop lusting on women. I don't. Why was that pause? Why was the pause? Because it's not lust. Because you are lying you as well. Hey, no. Okay, anyway, all what was your question? You guys still think that your body can sin, but sin is spiritual. Sin is unbelief. Christ is God. That's what you did. Oh, are you saying your body doesn't sin? Yes, that's what I'm saying, yes. Well, it does sin or doesn't sin? It can't sin. Can't. So your eyes, when you look at lustful things, does it it's sin? It's sin to you, but it's not human. Is what, okay, what is sin to you? Wait a minute. What is sin to you? Sin is unbelief. Unbelief Christ is God. This is sin. Is that all sin is? This is all sin. Okay, yeah. shall I show you from your Bible what is sin? Well, show me then. Okay, let me educate you from your Bible. Yeah. Okay. What is it that God hates? Huh? What does God hate? Unbelief. Are you sure? That's the only thing? Yeah. Do you, do you, know, do you know sin is, is law? Oh, is that sin is law? Yeah. So, do, do, so do you know the Ten Commandments? Why it says they don't kill? Excuse so is the killing the sin? Which Bible? Is killing Every the Bible sin. is saying. Yeah. Is killing sin? Ten Commandments is so, for Jesus to keep. It's not for you. Is the killing sin? I is it you, sin? Christ died on the cross already. Is it sin or not? Killing is sin or not? Killing, yeah. Christ has died on the cross already. No. Very he simple question. Sin. No, no. Killing, about the question. killing out, out. is sin or not? To you is sin, is it? To, to you, 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 to me, it's not sin because oh, it killing is not sin. sin. Okay, here, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. This is Romans 1:18. Yeah. The wrath of God is being revealed from the heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Yeah, unbelief. The truth is unbelief. Yeah. What is wickedness? What is wickedness? What is wickedness? Is I don't believe in human sacrifice. I told you already. What is it? If you don't no, it doesn't say. It says wickedness. Wickedness doesn't mean disbelief. Wickedness, wickedness. Wait a minute. Wickedness, for example, if you steal, or you lie, or you, you, for example, do something which is uh, sinful in the sense that uh, you you go and kill someone. This is all form of wickedness. It's murder. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does God love murder? Can you go to? Uh, Does God love murder? God just love. Well, God is God. He can do all things. You can't just leave and walk no, no, no. Can God do everything? Of course, God. Okay. Can Can God forgive without shedding of blood? Oh, why, why are you always that? Because, <laughs> because that is your key point, yeah. which you can't answer. Can your God? Why are you evading the question? Can your God forgive without 
the shedding of blood of an innocent man. This is God's plan. He, 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 Can he forgive without the shedding of blood? It's up to him. It's up to you. Okay, so now it's up to him. Yeah. Oh yeah, he can do anything. So does he have this power? Why didn't you just say he can't? Forgive without shedding the blood. He just, he just, does he have this power? He just won't deny, deny Jesus is God. So asking me the question over and over again. Jesus yeah. never said he is God. Because so why I should want to believe it? Jesus never said that. What did he say? When did the God? If you, if you really, I, I think, if look, you, 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 you must be delusional to say that you, with your body, cannot sin. If you look with your eyes and you lust on women, then that is the sin of your flesh. This is to you because you this thing is sin. Okay. What's that? You still think it's sin to you because the sin still exists in your conscience. The sin doesn't exist in my conscience. Where in the Bible does this a sin doesn't exist anymore? Show me where. They have never read the, the Bible, these guys, you know? What is this? He's saying, he's trying to, he'll, he'll show us in the Bible where he says sin doesn't exist anymore. Oh. <laughs> Let's see that. So if the sin doesn't exist, so for what sin Jesus died? Yeah, exactly. John, 1 John 3, 5. What does it say? And we know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. So Christ was manifested to take I'm not asking about Jesus, I'm saying, you said there's no more sin. I'm asking you, where does it say that? Not that Jesus didn't have a sin. We already believe that he is not a sinner. Even though your Bible curses him. <laughs> as a curse he became a curse for you okay galatians 3:13 that's where go and find out that doesn't answer the question the question was this where in the bible does it say there is no more sin after you became no no it says the possibility of what a born again christian should do that if you're born again, no, no, if you're born again, you should not even sin once. And I think that is the reason, and that is the reason you're quoting. The question I asked was not that. The question is not what you should not do. The question is, show me where does it say there is no more sin. I didn't ask you that question. You didn't, do you have a comprehension issue? <laughs> because it looks like you didn't understand the question. No, you don't understand what it means by spiritual and body. You can't, you can't see yourself. You said you cannot sin bodily. Show me that passage in the Bible. I just show you. No, that is what a born again is supposed to do. But, but, yeah, but you born again sin all the time. We can't see. I told you, but you can't believe You said lusting with it. Did you not say that lusting with the eyes is not a sin? So I told you it's not. It's not sin. Why is it not a sin? Because Christ already. So is it your second? This guy doesn't understand. Is it your second? Simple things. You know? before and you died and this is your second life in this world. We, we born already because we believe. We, we born with the spirit, not, what, not the flesh. You're born in the spirit, but you're the flesh. Don't you have the flesh? Okay. Let me ask you this. You know when you when you you believe you'll go to heaven one day? Okay. When you go to heaven, do you believe you go to heaven? Hold on. Of course we believe we are going to heaven, inshallah, yes. Yes? Well, I'm not the one who's going to judge. Wait, wait. I'm not the one who's going to make a judgment on behalf of God. Okay? But we have we have trust in Allah that He never would lie to us. That He wouldn't He wouldn't go uh, he, he wouldn't go against His own word. When He promises you paradise, there is conditions attached to that. As long as Muslims do not sorry, as long as Muslims satisfy those conditions, then they will definitely go to paradise. But you, wait, wait, when you go to paradise, how many, how many gods will you see? One or three? Will you see one god or three persons? No, no, will you see, I know, whether it's all in one, is relevant. When you go to heaven, yes, will you see one god or three persons? That's not in the Bible. Why does it say that they all are one? So will you no, no, wait, 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 wait. Where in the Bible does it say they all are one? It's not. It was the reason it was invented or established in the fourth century is because it wasn't in the Bible. They wouldn't wait 400 years or 300 years to establish the Trinity. Yeah. What does it say? I and the Father. How many persons? I and the Father. How many persons? Only two. Two persons. I asked you to show me why the three are one. 
Why do you wear shiva? Wait, 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 shake, shake. We're in the middle of a, a thing that I asked him to show. If you can't show the evidence. Come on, this is your belief. You should know that. At least one passage where he shows the three are one. At least one. So he showed us three, two. And by the way, the two is also not... It doesn't mean the father and I are one in that sense. But anyway, yeah, he's still supposed to show us the three. Was Jesus uh, why belonged to yeah? Was why according to him, yeah? We'll ask we'll ask him that later. <laughs> why did he need to worship? Why it belongs to God? Why is not Chinese? Come on, he should be able to find that quickly. Why is not like either uh, he's a Korean, he's a Korean. I have no idea. But there are three that they are recording in heaven, the Father, the Word and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And these three are one. And you know that's a fabrication? The first John five seven? It's been removed from all the modern Bibles except the KJV. Do you know why? I know you read the KJV. You know how old is the manuscript? 11th century. The one that you read from is 11th century. Why did all the other Bibles remove it? Whom, whom else will I ask? A Christian? You don't read that? But have you actually investigated this passage? It's called the Johanna and Comma. Have you investigated it? He doesn't want to investigate. He doesn't want any information. He just remains. He thinks ignorance is bliss. Why don't you Sorry. think about it? Think about it. When he said to investigate, for example, tomorrow someone will add something to the Bible, and then you will say, well, I believe because it's in the Bible. So if I could add something and you accept it. Let, give me your Bible. Let me, I'll, I'll, add you, I'll add you another verse. Yeah. But this is added. But they have added. That's what the other Bible, that's what the other Christian scholars say. Do you know what means of this? It's only, yeah, it's. The earliest manuscript for that is like the 11th century. Yes. This, no. this verse was it's corrupted. Added. Do you understand? Think. This verse is added 900 years ago. Do you understand? Ask That's what your Christian scholars say. The Christian scholars agreed it is added. Yeah, they agreed it is added. You don't need to be born 2,000 years ago to know Jesus, do you? You don't need to be born 2,000 years ago to know Jesus. So, so similarly, the, early the, Christian, have this verse. the Christian scholars tell us. That's a silly. He's, he's, one of the, now, now this is being silly. You tell me that something okay. from 900 years old that the Bible has an altar, but then you just that because some, someone has altered it. No, no, no. I, I, you actually know no, I think you, you have misunderstood what he said. If the earliest manuscript you have, it is a thousand years after Jesus. Yes, 11th century, more than a thousand years. Some even say the 14th century, some say the 16th century. So if you, wait, wait, do you, have you heard of the New International Version of the Bible? The thing is, I don't really... So can I ask you a question, please? Just answer the question. Have you heard of the New International Version Bible? No. No? Okay. So you only believe in the KJV? You only read the KJV? Okay. I read the Chinese one. No, no, that's fine. Have you investigated which manuscript they used to write the KJV? Have you read the history? Okay. So because you haven't read it, so you cannot say we are right or wrong. Okay, so reserve your judgment until you have researched it. No, no, but, but the thing is, if the Bible that you're reading is a thousand years after Jesus, yes, there's a gap, there's a gap of a thousand years. Yeah, but that I don't believe because I believe, I believe the word. No, but when you say you believe, you believe by blind faith. written in the Bible, there are some... You know, to believe in monkeys added to the Bible. You believe, you still believe, even if the Bible is added, believe in monkeys, believe in dragon, believe in whatever, and, and God. But the God, hey, there's the point here. When you have a manuscript that is 1,000 years after Jesus, that means, and the previous ones, they don't have this added thing, that means you have to doubt about it. If you understand? You, yeah, I do understand what you mean. Good. If, you, if you really use that hypothesis, that... Not hypothesis. It's not, it's, it's factual. I mean, I mean, did, did Manuscripts you, are factual. factual. I was listen, listen. Manuscripts, Manuscripts are factual. Do you study university level? Huh? Are you, do you, do you go to university? Yeah. Okay. So, what do you study about? I just want to know. It's okay, he wants to be cagey about it. So That's what, fine. What, what, okay. just, did, did you study, do you study history or something? 
Have you studied history in your life? No, not history. Uh, a little bit, but... Okay, what, 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 what's, that, what's the topic you study? What is it? Math? Engineering? What is it? Economics. Economics, okay. So if I told you this theory of economic theory, yeah, was added, yeah, and was said to you, with, if you, for example, if you wanted to do, for example, some, uh, some research or whatever, and then you put something and you put a quotation and say, this is taken from this book, yeah? And then someone, your teacher, your lecturer, looked and then he checked the same thing and he said, this is not from this book, this is added later on. So, is your... Is your no, no, there's not a whole difference. Just the education what, is, what is more important, your education or your faith? What is more important, your education or your faith? <laughs> so your faith has to be more stricter to know if these things are there. But I don't doubt. I don't doubt us. But that's the point here. So you have no. You, you will go. You will be so strict to for when you, for your education, and you have to take the right information, and you have to take it from the right sources. But when it comes to your faith, you know it doesn't matter. You know. You know. You know. You know. Imagine. Imagine this. Imagine. Imagine this. If 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 the if there was a clear. If, if there was a clear-cut passage which shows the Trinity in the Bible, why did the church take 325 years to establish the doctrine of the Trinity? I don't really care that because... He doesn't I, care about anything. I don't really care. You know, for him, ignorance is truly bliss. So, 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 you, think, so you don't care if, if, if all the rubbish mentioned in the Bible, it doesn't matter. You don't care. They add rubbish, they add whatever, they add things. They, all the rubbish, you believe in all the rubbish there. Even the rubbish. So it's good, rubbish, it's, it's good, it's good yes. to know we have because someone believes in the rubbish like yourself. We yes. It's something yes. interesting. Because when I read the Bible, I know Christ. Died you want to give it a shot? Huh? You want to give it a shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, try, listen, it's about, listen, you need to know when you are, when you are, the matter of faith is, a, is important. Yeah, it's important, and you it's more important than education. So that's why you have to know where the sources of your knowledge, listen, information. No, I, don't, I, I have my blind faith. You are right. Yes. Blind faith. Yeah. Blind okay. faith. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. So, I do believe the Bible. So, okay, if anyone adds to the Bible that the God will come to the Hyde Park as a man, if and he will come tomorrow, yeah. If anyone, you are coming to the tomorrow, and you see someone is playing with the God. Will you accept? I'll, I'll, I'll ask you. I'll ask you first the final thing, and then after that we'll, we'll, we'll finish because it seems blind followers is not easy. Yeah. I just want to ask you a question: Is Jesus God? Is Jesus God? Yes. Can you define me what's the meaning of God? Define your God, the Creator. The Creator. So Jesus was the Creator. Yeah. So He was the Creator. Can we see the verse? Can we see the verse before? Yeah, yeah. The word and then the word. Yes. So the word came after. The word came after the God. Yes. The word came after the, sorry? The, the word came after the Father, yes? They are, they are the same. Which is so the word the came after the God. But you guys just use the flesh and the body. It's all spiritual. Okay, it's not about the flesh. so is, is, is Jesus all powerful as a God? Is Jesus all powerful as a God? He is God. Is he all powerful? Yeah. How he tortured? He was tortured. He was humiliated and tortured and killed. How do you think he's all powerful? But why do you limit what God can do? He's so so when you say all powerful, it doesn't mean he's weak. Well, when you say God is all powerful, you cannot have two, you two contradictory no. definition to something. No. You cannot have it. Do you think that he can do all things? Do you think God can do No, he can't. Things? He can't do all things. That's why. Can he cease to exist? He asked God why you Can God cease to exist? Can God cease to exist? What, what do you mean by that? He is there and he say, you know, I'm not there. Just can he decide not to exist? Not yeah. to exist. God, not to exist? Yeah, can he decide not to exist? Of course he can. <laughs> so wait, 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 when he decides not to exist, then yeah. do you believe that God will stop existing? Please, the thing, why do you ask the question? Why That's oh. my point, you see here, you said he can do all, because you said he can do all things. Yes. So God doesn't do all things. Because God do you. things that befits his majesty. And okay, can, can God, can God lie? Can, can God lie? Can God lie? Not. But you said he can, do, you everything. Said he can do everything. He can do everything. Why does he need to ask? Why does he need to lie? And why do you doubt him? No, no, wait. Don't why compare your God with Allah, because that's Allah didn't die by His own creation, and like your your God. First and foremost, you said God can do everything. When we asked you logical questions, like can He cease to exist? This is a logical question. You guys always have the logical uh, question. Why, it's also why do you think God gave you a brain? Huh? He's got a big question mark when yeah. I ask that question. <laughs>
Why do, Why you, do you think God gave you rationality, a brain, intellect, for what? Please make use of it. That's why. Uh, to make use of it. But when you say, I don't care, I don't know, that shows that you don't want to use the blessing that God has given you, an intellect, a mind to rationalize. Okay? When you start saying that God is three in one, why did none of the prophets ever say that? Neither did Jesus, by the way. Do you still sing? Oh, he keeps asking the same question. What was the point of sin? <laughs> because he, sin? No, no, he sin? thinks he doesn't sin. We sin. And then when I asked him, Does you, do you sin, we sin, sin with your eyes? He goes, yes. It's simple. We sin, we repent. We sin with pen. Yeah, that's it. This, this, this cycle is never end. Never end. Yeah, that's the point. That's a good thing in it because it never ends. Otherwise, really? otherwise, you know Al Capone, you know Hitler, they were practicing Christian by the way, you know. They were Hitler who killed millions of people, including Churchill here. In, the, in England here, and as well he did, he did as well kill people, but and he was following KJB, you know, King, King James Bible, he was following it, he was, you know, someone following the, the Church of England, and yet he killed people, and he got away because he believed Jesus God, that's it, so he doesn't need, doesn't need to repent, there is no repentance. It was also a Nazi Muslim division as well. Yeah, all of them, so it doesn't matter. Don't forget to add that. So yeah, yeah we, we got sinners in Muslim we, we, we don't yeah. deny that. We believe, we, we believe we <laughs> sin. You know, one, one thing I want to ask you, which you haven't responded to. Jews, Nazi, as well, happened. So, according, yeah, to your, according to your belief, will Hitler go to the paradise? Heaven. Yeah, but you have to believe. You have to believe. So, okay, if Hitler believed on Jesus, will he go to the paradise or heaven? salvation. If he know, if he know what Christ is, if he know the gospel, yes, of course. Then it's okay to kill a million people. So, to kill millions of people, it's okay. It's okay. People die every day. No, no. So, 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 according to you, According to you, according to you, someone who has killed millions of people and he's a Christian, he goes to heaven, yeah? I don't want to be in your heaven, sorry. <laughs> your heaven is not my kind of heaven. Can you understand? Your standard is not God's standard. God's standard. Also, God's standard is to repent. No. And then we'll accept it. No, no. no. So God's no. standard is to no. put Jesus to put murderers in heaven. He became sin and it overcomes sin. He became a curse. I know. Can I, I, can, I, can, I, can I tell you something? It's a very simple thing, you know. Yeah, you are simple, so it's not simple. No, no. I, I will ask you a question. This is simple for you. I think it's simple for you. Unless you believe Christ is okay. God, then you can. Ask I mean, him. listen. Do the killers of Jesus are they good people or bad people? Good question, yeah. Yeah, the killers of Jesus. Are they good people or bad people? Well, oh, yes, the same. Uh, you know good and bad, right? No, just answer the question. Just answer the question. I don't want, I don't you, you can go philosophy later. To me, there's no good or bad. There's no... I don't, I don't eat okay. the, 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 the tree from the good and evil. I don't know good and evil anymore. Okay, is, is Satan good or evil? There's no... God. Is Satan good or evil? God create evil and, and good, right? God no, no. Is Satan good or evil? I told you in my mind there's no good and evil. Okay, so, so wait, wait, wait. According to your Bible, according to your Bible, Satan will go to paradise or hell? God creates Satan, right? Where will he go? Paradise or hell? God creates Satan, right? Yes, okay, yes, who, yes. Wait, wait, wait. who created Satan? God. Okay, go. We, we have done that question. Now, next question. Will Satan, the one that God created, Go to heaven or hell? According to the Bible, Satan will go to hell. But he's good. I didn't say he's good. I told oh, so he's evil then? No, I didn't say he's evil. This is the thing that so why will he go to hell then? Because I told you that I don't have the knowledge of good and evil. I don't you know he started in the, the middle of thing. Christianity, yeah. he started preaching oh, well, Buddhism. No, no, listen, 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 listen. That's not my point. No good and evil. Listen, that's not my point if they are good or bad. The, the killers of Jesus, yeah? Have they done good thing or bad thing by killing Jesus? Unless you need to, I told you, there's no good and evil so in my So when they killed, no, when they killed Jesus, they came, they killed innocent man, they put him on a cross, and then that's it. They did something good for you, yes, which is your salvation, yes. No, there's no good or bad thing. No matter okay, what. Is it okay or no? no? Is it okay, is it okay, or okay or to no? kill Jesus? If you were there, will you kill Jesus? It's okay to kill Jesus. Well, Jesus is God, so it's all his plan. Right? So, so you participate in killing Jesus if you were there? Well, it's his plan. It's his plan. So if you were there, will you participate in killing okay. Jesus? Okay. <laughs> why, why do you have to ask the question? Yes, because it's not bad. You, 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 you know, you have to. I feel sorry for the guy, man. You know, he's been, he's been grilled. He's been grilled. By the way, yeah. by the way, by the way. You, listen, listen. Did you say? Did you say there's no evil? You know, you know, what, at one point in Matthew seven, 
Yes? Uh, it was mentioned that you have to do the will of the Father. You remember that, Matthew 7? Yes? And anyone who calls me God, God, and, and, and does not do the will of the Father, yes? Because many on that day will say, did I not prophesy in your name? Did I not cast out demons in your name? Yes, go on. At the end of that, what does Jesus say? Go away. That he does not recognize any of you. Yeah. Get away from me, you yeah. evil doers. Because they still sin. I, I can't so see sin, So sin is bad. Sin so who are the evil sin. doers? Sin. The, ones who, the ones who prophesy in the name of Jesus. Mm. The one who cast out demons in his name. The, the, one, the one who do good things in his name. Do you do, wait, wait. Do you do good things in the name of Jesus? All things I do is to believe him. But he says those who do things in his name, he will cast them out as evil doers. Because they don't believe Christ. They deny no, no, he Christ. says they do. If they don't believe Christ, so why would they see. cast out demons in the so name of Jesus? They can't. No, they said they cast out demons. Sorry, cast out demons, demons in the name demon? of Jesus. No. Was that? cannot cast out demons. They can't. But who told you these are demons? The people who are saying in the name of Jesus, okay? By the way, it's not casting out in the name of the devil. It's casting out in the name of Jesus. Does a good Christian cast out demons in the name of Jesus or the Satan? Yeah. But the thing is, sin is unbelievable. Can you answer the question, please? Stop changing yeah, the topic. You to Every time you do that. You need to understand. No, no, that. answer the question. When you cast out demons in the name of Jesus, are those good Christians or bad Christians? Cast out, cast out, cast out demons. In the name of Jesus. Cast out demons in people is to convert people. To let people know that. What yeah, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus. Are those good Christians or bad? Whatever it is, you need to know that sin. Are they good Christians? People who do good things in the name of Jesus. Are they good Christians or bad Christians? You still, you still got the knowledge of what is good to you. See, he's always changing your topic. Why are you waiting the question? Okay, anyway, Jesus will cast you if you do things in the name of Jesus and not do the will of the Father. Do you do, do, you, do, you do the will of the Father? Yes. What is the will of the Father? To believe him. To believe whom? Look, uh, to love, to believe and not judge. No, no. According to Jesus, what is doing in the will of the Father mean? Doing the will of the Father means what? Which, which, is, doing, which is doing His will. To, to, sorry, to, to what? Love, to believe Him and to, to love your God and to forgive everyone. This is what He said. Okay, so yeah. you think that these people who are casting out demons don't do that? In the name of Jesus? If they, if they, if they are, if they are saved, if they are converted themselves, yeah. if they know that, they, if they know that what Christ did, because Christ died on the cross, right? Yeah. But you guys don't. Have you understood the question I asked you? You yeah, haven't, you have you? Got the knowledge of good and evil. Have you understood the question I asked you? I do, but you don't understand. Okay, what was my question? Let's see if you understood. Because I, I honestly think sometimes you do have a comprehension issue with what I'm asking. No, it's not. Okay, so once again, if you do, listen, listen, focus this time. If you as a Christian, as a born again Christian, if you do things in the name of Jesus, is that a good Christian or a bad Christian? He doesn't believe in good or bad. No, no, I want to know if you understood actually. Do you understand the question? But you still got the knowledge of good and evil. You don't know what Why don't you answer the question? Forget about everything else. Answer the question. Because the, the most base foundation. No, I don't want to know the base foundation in the middle of the discussion. So we have already discussed that many times. Once again, if you as a born again Christian do things in the name of Jesus, are you a good Christian or a bad Christian? There's no good or bad Christian. I told you. There's no oh, there's no good so Christian or bad Christian. There's no good, there's no evil. Are you, are you a Buddhist, Jesus. by the way? So, are you a Buddhist or a Christian? Because when you deny that there is evil, okay, that means you have you are not you are not following Christianity somehow. So, someone someone doesn't believe in Jesus. Doesn't believe Jesus is God. He doesn't believe. Is that good or bad? If they, this is the only thing. Yes, this is a sin. So it's bad. So is it good or bad? If they, you start believing in bad now. If they don't believe in Jesus, it's sin. Yes. Is it bad? It's sin. Is it bad? Sin is better. I told you, I, I don't have the knowledge of it, but you don't get it. Oh, it's sin. You know, you know. I think you you have to stop preaching Buddhism and get back to Christianity because the reason Actually, the reason heaven and hell are made yeah, or, or go is back for a reason. Or, or I don't know why. Okay. All right, thank you very much for your time. You have serious issues. But, uh, I advise you. We advise you to leave. But the very simple in Islam, we have just.
one God who doesn't have a, he doesn't have any company like uh, the Jesus or two or three we ha we, we say he's only one he's self-sufficient independent he doesn't have father mother children anything and he's not comparable and with he anyone. doesn't need to kill anyone he doesn't to need to kill you. anyone to forgive he can forgive whenever he wants right, just right? Like a lot there is the thing